ございます青コーナー1 8 2ンチ9 5 5キロ西島Yosuke Bone Crusher Nishijima, 32, six feet tall, 211 pounds, making his debut in Pride Fighting. The Samoan monster Mark Hunt is 35, 10, 292 pounds, three and one record in Pride Fighting Championships. Boss, 292 pounds against a fighter who was 211 pounds. It is the main event of Pride 31 at the Saitama Super Arena, and you hear the crowd react. That's because Nishijima is allowing the four-point attack. Wow, talking about some cojones there. We talked about his world travels in preparing for his debut. Mark Hunt says he's going to submit Nishijima with a flying armbar, boss. <laughs> all right, all right, he was smiling when he said it. Says the good thing about being heavy is that he can crush the takedown, and here comes Nishijima out of the chute. And I think that's going to be the game plan of Mark Hunt, low kicks. Nishijima says he won't go down with the low kick, and the crowd here at Saitama Super Arena cheering on the native son as Mark Hunt takes it to him with a knee strike. And everything he does is fast and powerful. Mark Hunt coming off a victory over his rival Mirko Krokop, and that knee. He just throws him away. And Nishijima now starting to play some games with him, almost challenging him to knock his block off. Oh, that right hand. He does it. That's not very wise on the part of Nishijima, is it, Look, boss? look, look, Mark is taking him down! Double leg. Side control by Mark Hunt. And he's probably gonna climb on top and mount 292 pounds. Trouble. Remember when we saw him make his debut against Hidehika Yoshida, 2004, showed some natural MMA instincts on the ground, boss, and since then, of course, has worked on his ground game. We'll see the uh, fruits of his labor here. Yep, now it's for Nishijima. He's in that same situation that he was, that Hunt was against um, uh, Yoshida-san. He should try simply to step over and go for the mount position because with his weight, it's going to be very different. Ah, there we go. 81 pound weight difference. Mark Hunt right now in the full mount position. And Nishijima now will have to try to avoid some ground and pound. Cross face here would be really good, and then choose, just push yourself away, create some distance, and then, then start wailing away. That's what Mark Hunt should do right now. In Japan, the very knowledgeable fight fans like to see boss their their warriors, their heroes tested when they make their debut in the fight game. And and I don't think you can get a bigger test than Mark the Samoan monster hunt. But this is an opportunity for Yusuke Nishijima not to just test the waters, but dive into the deep end of the talent pool here in Pride. Yep, and especially now, look at this. Oh, Mark was holding the ropes for his balance. Oh, and that's why they Senior restarted. referee Yuji nice. Shimada is going to restart them. Oh, in the center of the ring. And it's going to be okay. in the center of the ring. In the mount position. He should right away start doing the same thing. Sit up straight and start hitting. Use the strength that he has. There's the ground and pound. Hammer fist. Look at this. Oh, unbelievable. The hammer hunt. Look at, listen to the audience. Oh, it's petted in left hook. Oh, oh, and he gets tagged with a counter right and a knee. And a low kick. Welcome to mixed martial arts. This is with that left hook. And again, we we said going in, Nishijima would have the speed, obviously, but so far, Hunt has tracked them down, and those knees now, boss, also beginning to take their toll. You can tell by the way Nishijima was jumping up and down, trying to shake oh. off the pain. Nice jab. And another one. Another one. We've got ourselves a fight here in the main event of Pride 31. I don't want to say it, but I do going to say it. Mark Hunt is breathing heavy. 
See, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, and Nishijima looks pretty out. This is what the uppercut, oh, there's the knee, though, and Mark Hunt knee. utilizing his MMA arsenal. Nishijima trying to work the jab. We saw Kazushi Sakuraba prior to the match give last minute instructions to Nishijima. He worked with Sakuraba Takata Dojo, goes downstairs with a body shot, tries to come upstairs, is stopped with that counter left. Yep. Oh, and that right rocked him. Another knee there. Those knees are taking its toll. You can see it, you can tell it. Look, and comes back with a jab. They are exchanging jabs. Oh, and a, what a high kick by Mark Hunt. And there's an attempt at a knee by Nishijima. This is an entertaining affair to wrap up Pride 31, boss. Crazy. I, I thought this fight was going to be like two minutes, but it, no. It's a night where you cannot think of anything. Expect the unexpected at Pride 31. Shoots up that left jab again. Nishijima trying to cover up his body boss trying to he knows those knees hurt he doesn't and there's another knee that backs him up and puts him to the canvas and this could spell trouble for nishijima yep this could be the end if he connects with one of those hard hands it could be the end one of the most feared strikers in mma mark hunt dropping those right bombs on nishijima but credit all oh, misses with that kick nishijima is a survivor Talking about and the they are going, spirit. you better believe it, the fighters are going to be brought back up to their feet, and the fans here are on the edge of their seats. They're Look Japanese boxing hero Nishijima. He's got the reach advantage, and he's using it. Giving Mark Hunt a run for his money. Hunt trying to cut up the ring. Rock him with that left hook. Nishijima wobbles. Along the ropes. Oh, and that oh, right and left oh, combination. He's still nice. standing, but for how much longer? Oh, oh and a high kick. kick. And a kick back. He doesn't want to stop. Again, proof positive the greatest athletes in the world are mixed martial artists, boss. Here is a fighter who came from the world of boxing, a champion, but again, mixed martial arts, a different kettle of fish, and look what he's been able to at least survive against one of the world's best in Mark Hunt. Unbelievable. I know, I say it a lot, but this is a night to say that word a lot. Side control by Hunt. He's would be wise to, first figure four. Look. wise to go for some knee strikes. Now in the north-south position, will he be tacking the head? Nice, escape there by Nishijima. Turn it back, avoiding the knee, there's one. And again, we've yet to really see what kind of a ground fighter Mark Hunt is. You know, we kind of quipped that he was going to submit him with a flying arm bar. Yep, he was looking there for a side joke, but uh, Nishijima pulled it out right away. And whoop, knee to the face there. Mark Hunt shouldn't do this. With the weight difference, boss, what does a referee look for? Who does he, does he give the... The fighter on the bottom, if he's a lower weight, a uh, benefit going. of the doubt because of what's happening here, because there's not a lot. Hunt's looking for the arm bar. for the Americana. Yep, he know, and again, he's out, Nishijima. This is great. And again, he looks for that figure four, brings the hand, has to bring the hand to the hip. Oh, talk about, the, again, boss, with that weight difference. The weight difference plays uh, a major factor right, right now. Right, but from a referee standpoint, if a fighter on top is just lying there and stuff, is he going to bring it up faster, knowing that, uh, or yes, that's what I ask? If he doesn't move, but you know, as you can see, Mark Hunt, he is going for everything. North-South position, it looks like he's going to go for an armbar now. He's going to step over. <laughs> that would be unbelievable if he would do that. I mean, he trapped the arm. He should step over, looking for that armbar. And again, he's looking for it yet. Wow. Nishijima doing his best to survive as we are into the final two minutes of round one. And another bigger four attempt there. Oh, straight on bar. He tries it all. And Nishijima able to avoid it all thus far. A very interesting main event. A wonderful way to wrap up 
a wonderful night of fights. You talk about high drama in Saitama. It is Pride 31, the Saitama Super Arena. Mark Hunt now going on the double knee drop. We saw the atomic butt drop on Vanderlei Silva, shockwave. How cool is this? Bombs away indeed. Wow. Mark Hunt knows how to entertain the crowd. And Nishijima, this is unbelievable. What a debut for him. I mean, he's getting picked apart, boss, but he's showing that spirit. One minute left in row number one. Who would have thought it would go this far? So much for making predictions yes. in MMA land. Anything can happen in Pride Fighting Championships, and that left hook was delivered with bad intentions. I'm telling you, Mark Hunt, I know he's got a real hard head, but a hook like that can do the trick. If it's right on the button, <laughs> and he might Hunt go said, down. if Nishijima hits him right on the button, he'll get knocked out like anyone else. He's a realist. He, he knows what the fight game is all about. Oh, there he walks him with that left hook, and look at Nishijima. Mark Hunt, oh, Mark, Mark Hunt looks tired. He looks tired. And Nishijima now coming back in the final 15 seconds of the first round. Nishijima beginning to go to work, using his boxing technique to the body and upstairs. Oh, look at this. And Hunt is tiring. What a fight. Kazushi Sakuraba here beside us. He's on the edge of his seat. This Whoa. is unbelievable. What a tremendous first round for Nishijima. And Hunt, you talk about a war. You're getting it at Pride 31. Oh, Hunt is tired. You can't see it at home, ladies and gentlemen, but he walks to his corner. He is really gassed. Boss, people who question an open weight tournament now with the way the sport has evolved, they, they, that argument is out the window yeah, with fights like window. we're having tonight. Bye-bye, weight glasses. This is unbelievable, and Mark Hunt, he is definitely fatigued, boss. And for Nishijima, will that last 30 seconds, that, that's got to motivate him a bit. That's got to oh, give him yeah. some momentum. It's got to give him some wings. And his corner will tell him now. Yeah, as we're looking here at the replay, but his corner will instruct him, listen, man, he's getting tired. You got to put the pressure on. And look how fast he's back on his feet. Boom, and there's the other left. He's got a good left hand. Look at this, double that knee is, drop. Oh! That was one for the highlight reel. Almost, <laughs> almost hung himself on the rope there. <laughs> Unbelievable for Marcano likes to pull out those tricks and why not? Kazushi Sakuraba turned it into a legendary career and Mark Hunt is a legendary warrior. Oh, and he dropped him with that shot, boss. And a knee to the face. Whoa. You know, just when you think Pride Fighting Championship has done it all, boss, it, a night like tonight unfolds and uh, it really just illustrates the beauty of the sport of mixed martial arts, the greatest athlete in the world in this ring. Yep, and here you can see the fatigue is kicking in for Mark Hunt. Look, his defense is gone, he's turning his back. Not a good sign, but he's there before. Boss, seriously, has not Nishijima already made himself a superstar here in his native Japan of with the first course. 10 minutes of fight? Hey, listen, he stole my heart. That's one thing for sure. In, 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 in a different way. Hey, I was going to quote a for you. My heart will go on. Wow. All right, round number two. I'm clapping here. This is great. A tremendous war of attrition thus far. Mark Hunt had definitely dominated the early going, and then in the last minute, the tank nearing empty for Hunt. Has he recharged his battery? That's Let's trying exactly. to establish a jab. Yep. It, that's exactly what he should do. He should go to the body. And that is exactly what Hunt should do. Keep going for his low kicks. You see, he's attacking the body, and he will come upstairs now. Yep, exactly. Nice. You really got to pick his shots now. Yep, low kicks is the... That will be... And you can see the discoloring on the left leg, the lead leg of Nishijima. Those kicks are taking their toll, but Nishijima now going to the body. And I mean... He went to Holland, went to Croatia, went to the United States. Nishijima taking his M career very seriously and obviously providing Mark Hunt with a very serious test here. Whoa, look at him. He's definitely sticking and moving. Oh, wow, what a thunderous exchange there. And now Nishijima putting on a show. Getting confidence, boss. Whoa, look at this. 
You can see the look on our cunt's face. Look at the consternations, wondering what is going on here. He's getting angry. He's angry. And the crowd now begins to clap and check the name of Nojima. Oh. A little too high. Unbelievable. Down by the border. The unheralded Yosuke Nishijima. Pundits, fans alike, not giving him much of a chance to even escape the first round. It's turning into an epic encounter between the former boxing cruiserweight champion, the former kickboxing champion, Mark Hunt. Oh, bus shots. That's it. That's it. And now Stick and move, boss, thing. like El Wapo said at the beginning of the show. He's got to go right straight to the body, left hook to the head. Look at him. He is... He is tiring out Mark Hunt, boss. Yep, he's doing it. He's doing a great job. And what was the uh, the scouting report at the beginning of the telecast? Someone said if Hunt was going to win, it was going to be by devastating KO. Otherwise, Nishijima would have to stick and move and maybe win a decision. Yep. That was oh, me. Another Look at Nishijima. He just stands there and he says, bring it. Bring it on. Now he's finally oh. down, and that kicked the head and the knee, and Nishijima's in trouble in the corner. But still, he's still defending himself. Unbelievable. I mean, what is coursing through the veins of Yusuke Nishijima? That's a very weird position there. You know, we're talking in, in going around Japan, boss, and visiting with the fans, high championships, wondering who the next superstar would be following in the footsteps of Kazushi Sakuraba, Hidehiko Yoshida. I think we may have our answer sooner than later. Yeah, but hey, let's get real here. Mark Hunt didn't really go for a takedown. Okay, he did it once, but if he, Nishijima is going to fight somebody who really knows his submission, puts him on his back, like Nogueira, he's going to be a big trouble. Nishijima had a heart of a warrior. He oh, is no. unbelievable. Regardless of anything, this Mark Hunt is one of the toughest strikers in the sport, greatly outweighing you, Nishijima, and Nishijima is holding steady and really amazing everyone in attendance. He's doing that absolutely, but styles make matches. Let's not forget that. A minute and a half left in round number two, and Nishijima still has some pep in his step, still moving with that jab. Now Hunt, with, I'm, I'm, he looks like he's impervious to pain, boss. I know, I know, and look at those left hooks. Unbelievable! Where is he getting this reserve energy, this strength from? He's getting nailed by Hunt in the body upstairs, and it looks like Nishijima still the fresher of the two fighters, although Hunt now begins to unload. Whoa, whoa! That oh, that left hand rocked him! Will he survive the final 60 seconds of round two? <laughs> Unbelievable if brawl! He does, if he does, if he survives, then Mark Hunt's gonna have trouble in round number three. That's one thing for sure. They called the Yoshihiro Takayama Don Fry battle one of the best brawls in Pride history. Hunt and Nishijima are on their way oh, yes, they, they to stealing are. that thunder. What a smug best it is. 30 seconds remaining. The more tired Hunt gets, the more Nishijima should attack his body. Forget about his head right now. Final 20 seconds. And for the Cinderella man, Nishijima, the clock is yet to strike 12. Hunt just leaves his hands down. He says, forget about it. I don't even put him up. Don't. Comes back with a one-two combination. Looking for the uppercut. Ducks that one. Nishijima's on the ground. Misses the wild hammer fist. Is he going to survive two the seconds? Bell is going. Yes. An unbelievable round. One of the most memorable rounds in Pride history. Whoa. Man. second round that was and like I said at the end Mark Hunt gave everything that he had to Nishijima didn't go down is this gonna pay its toll in round number three Nishijima this whole corner is standing there and I'm sure that they're shouting in his ear man you gotta go let's take a look here boom and a right hand
A little left. A Unbelievable left exchange. Nishijima coming back with a flurry of punches. And Me. another left, and another left. Look at this. Mark Hunt is a kickboxer. Nishijima is a pure boxer. And we're seeing who definitely has the better technique. Hunt's got Ooh. the power punches, those home run strikes. But Nishijima, he's staying in the park, boss. He's not going anywhere. You see his eyes rolling back, but this guy, oh, I don't know what's keeping him up, but it's got to be pure willpower. Look at that knee, if that would have been a hit. And this is like the final seconds of the round. Time, whoa. Unbelievable fight. A portrait of courage, hard fighting spirit. You're looking at it on your screen in Yosuke Nishijima in his Pride Fighting Championships debut, a part of a very memorable main event at Pride 31. And for Mark Hunt, he's probably saying to himself, you know, do I go, what do I have to do here? What do I have to unleash? I've done the low kicks, the high kicks, the body shots, the power shots. Nishijima still standing, and there's a show of respect as they touch gloves and get ready to go back to war. Now let's see who can pull it up. Hunt looks more fresh than he did when he started round number two. That's one thing nice for sure. body to the head combination by Hunt. As Nishijima against the ropes, and it has been Hunt definitely pressing the action, dictating the pace, but we've seen that stick and move strategy employed by Nishijima, the you advocated boss, but right now he has to work his way out of the corner. Whoa, some good shots there. He's got a good left hook. And there's not a lot of pop that we saw at the beginning of the fight. Of course, Mark Hunt unleashing everything in his arsenal. And really, it's going to be the last man standing in this one, boss. Yep. It really looks like it. Titanic struggle. You see him now pressing it. Now, that low kick didn't have a lot of power on it anymore. That means conditioning is going down slowly but surely. Oh, actually, that one looked better again. <laughs> Never count anybody Short out. Took, delivered by Nishijima, met with the jab. Nice fight, oh. and that rocks Nishijima, and it's over! Just like that, Nishijima finally, I'm sure, in Mark Hunt's mind, goes oh. down for the count at a minute, 18 seconds of the round. Mark Hunt round is right three. Away. Mark Hunt records a knockout victory, probably the hardest knockout victory of his career. Man. What a, what a sportsman. Mark Hunt hit him down and right away went to Nishijima to check on him and see if everything was okay. Um, what can I say? This night, tomorrow, what a night. Mark Hunt delivered a pounding, delivered all kinds of punishment. Nishijima took it, delivered some of his own. Boss, you talk about being what kind of night. It is going to go down as one of the most eventful nights in Pride Fighting Championships history. We saw a little bit of everything. And in the main event, Nishijima now talking to the medical staff, a good sign, as he was stopped with that left hand by Mark Hunt. And uh, we're, there's President Saki Gabara handing the trophy to Mark Hunt. And uh, for Mark Hunt, what a career in MMA he's had, boss. Defeating Vanderlei Silva, handing him his first loss in pride. He defeated Mirko Krokop in his last fight. And now dispatches the heralded boxer, Yosuke Nishijima, who a lot of people didn't get much of a chance in terms of MMA, but my goodness, he's Big. earned his uh, keep tonight. Yep. Look at this. Oh, yeah, it was the left hook, right straight. Right. That sent him to the canvas. Boom, the right there straight. There the right just sent him crumbling. Mark Hunt is thinking here in Nishijima and he said he had the heart of a warrior. Does he ever? He's right. He's absolutely right.